What's up guys, Ghulam Ahmed, geneactivated.ca. Welcome back, today is day 11. So we've made it pretty far now. The 10 days are done, half of the Ramadan is done. I hope you guys are having an amazing month and increasing in your spirituality. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna again, take up the intensity a little bit from last week, from day six. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with something called high knees, which is a variation of the marches. So we're gonna take the marches up a notch and do high knees. So we're gonna do three sets of 25 high knees today. So remember last time I was teaching you how to do marches like this. So the next version of this, the next step up is to actually do it a little bit faster and kind of have a little bit of a bounce in your legs. So they're kind of like this. Okay, so we're gonna do three sets of 25 like that. It's gonna be a little bit harder, but I know you guys can do it because you're super strong and super tough. So ready if we're ready to go and let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Two, three, four, five. So see, that wasn't so bad. Let's take a 30 second break. Let's breathe, let's recover. Now, if this was a little too tough for you, you can stick to continuing to do your marches. And I know I went a little bit fast. I'm just naturally uh, good at doing this pretty fast, but you can slow it down as well. You don't have to go that fast either, okay? So for the second set, let's slow it down a little bit. We're gonna do another set of 25 reps, and then we're gonna build on that next week. Ready? Keep breathing, guys. You're doing amazing. And let's go. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, four, five. Now, the same thing is you're trying to get your knee up to your hip and back, but you're doing it a little bit faster. Well done. Let's breathe. Beautiful, guys. So now we're gonna do the third set. I'm gonna show you from the side this time. Ready? And go. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful, guys. That's three sets done. Let's take a minute break. We're gonna recover, breathe a little bit, and then we're gonna get into the second exercise. So let's breathe together. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Beautiful. I hope you guys are enjoying these workouts, guys. Please do let me know your feedback in the comment section below. It really helps me out and helps me make these workouts better for the next week for you guys. So if you've been following along, first of all, thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you for sticking through it. This is day 11. You come a long way and I hope you learned a lot and are progressing every single week as well, okay? So let's keep breathing. So next we're gonna do push-ups again like we did last week. We're doing them every single week. I really want you guys to get good at doing push-ups and building your strength and doing them. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do three sets of six to eight push-ups again. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do them so that you're gonna go all the way down. We're gonna get full range of motion. You're gonna make sure you touch your nose on the mat today and then come back up, okay? So ready? First set, make sure you keep your hands right underneath your chest. Okay, not all the way out here. And then we're gonna go all the way down, touch our nose to the mat, and then come back up. So come down, touch. One. Two, breathe. Three. Four. Five. Six, you can do six. We're gonna try to do eight. Seven, eight. Beautiful guys, let's take a 30 second break. Now if you're feeling this exercise in your shoulder, then your hands are too far off, okay? If you do it like here, your hands are up here, you're gonna feel it in your shoulder. What you wanna do is you wanna bring your hands down here so they're right in line with your nipples and then you're gonna push that way from your chest, okay? So that was the first set, let's continue to breathe then we're getting to the second set. Okay, 30 seconds are up. Let's go, second set, guys, you're doing great. Ready? And let's go. One, 
Beautiful. Two. Three. Four. Five. Touch your nose. Six. Seven. Eight. Beautiful, guys. So that was your second set. Let's continue to breathe. 30 seconds, and we're going to do the third set. I hope you guys are following my diet plan, guys. I've released the diet plan for uh, your fat loss, to increase your fat loss. It's your complete fat loss Ramadan diet plan. Make sure you guys check that out, okay? I have the link in the description below. So make sure you guys are following that as well so you can you know, maximize your fat loss in this month, okay? Breathe. Okay, let's go, guys. Third set. You're doing great. Ready? And down. Breathe. Push up. Push two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Very nice. Don't go down so fast that you hurt your nose and you know pound your nose on the floor either. So just nice and slow and controlled. The idea is to control the movement and to get a bigger range of motion so you can get a bigger muscle contraction. That was it guys, that was three sets, beautiful. Let's take a minute break now and then we're gonna do a third exercise, okay? Very nice. So for the third exercise, we're going to do a plank again, just to work on your core stability and to work on your abs. But today we're going to make the plank a little bit harder. What we're going to do is we're going to increase our lever length, which means we're going to make our body longer and that's going to put more pressure on our abs. So while you're doing this, I want you to make sure you keep your back up and flat. Okay, don't dip your back in. Otherwise, you're going to start to have a little bit of back pain. And if you are having back pain, just put your knees down and then do the plank. Okay, so let's get into it. What we're going to do is so, so we're going to do this for three sets, 30 seconds, okay? So usually you do the plank here, right? Where your elbows are right underneath your, your shoulders. Today what we're going to do is we're going to bring the elbows way far up here. And we're also going to bring our feet back too, okay? So you're going to bring your elbows up more and you're going to bring your feet back more. So see how my body is now longer and I'm already shaking right off the bat. So that means it's working even harder. We're 10 seconds in. Twenty seconds, ten seconds left, guys. If you're getting really tired, you can take a break now if you want to. But I think you can do it. Let's push, let's push. Five, four, three, two, and one. So you you must notice that got a little bit more tougher. We just increased the lever length. So we increase the, the length of our body and then put a lot more pressure on the on the abs. So that's one way to kind of make the abs a little bit harder, the, the plank a little bit harder, okay? So good job, guys. So let's take a little break again. We're going to take about 10 seconds and then we're going to do the second set again. One more time and let's go. Ready? The same thing, you should keep your elbows further out and your feet further back. Make your body longer, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, almost there guys, push, 8, 9, and 10. Whew, that was tough, good job guys, that's your second set, let's breathe, we're going to do one more set, and then we're going to move on to the fourth exercise. You guys are probably feeling that in your stomach, huh? It's a, it's a really good exercise for your stomach. Good job, good job, good job. Ready? Let's do the last one. 
Almost ready to go, and we're up. Elbows up, feet back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and thirty. Woo, that was good. A little tough. Good job, guys. So, as you can see, that we've kind of increased the intensity every single week. We're kind of building up to the last week and moving forward. So, you guys can continue to do these workouts even after Ramadan is done. You can start from the beginning and you know take it up the notch every single every single week. So, I hope you're really enjoying these workouts. They're great. I'm feeling great. I hope you're feeling great. Let's take a little break. We're gonna take about 45 seconds and then we're gonna get into the next exercise. Good job, guys. You're doing amazing. You've kept up with me for such a long time. I hope you're really, really feeling good. I know we're thirsty, we're hungry, but it's gonna open soon. There's a few hours left and then you're gonna be able to open your iftar. I've been getting some questions about when is the right time to do this exercise? When is the right time to do workouts? So I actually posted a video about the best time to do uh, workouts in Ramadan as well. So make sure you guys check that out as well because you can do this at any time, to be honest, that really works for you. So check out that video, okay? So now let's get into the next exercise, which is gonna be wall sits. So we did this the last two weeks again, so you remember how to do them. But again, we're gonna go up with five more seconds this week. I know this exercise is very tough, so I don't go up too fast on this one. So we're gonna do three sets now of 25 seconds, okay? Last week we did 20 seconds, this week we're gonna do 25 seconds. So five more seconds, but you guys can do it, ready? So you're gonna find a wall, right? Get your back against the wall, get down 90 degrees and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 25 more seconds, let's go. Two, three, four, and five. Beautiful, guys. So what we're gonna do is take a 30 second break and I'm gonna give you a few more cues to make this exercise even more effective, okay? So when you're in that position, you wanna be making sure that you're pushing the ground down with your feet, okay? Push down really hard and that's gonna be able to activate more of your quads and give you a better burn. The second thing we're gonna do is in the last 10 seconds of this set, we're actually gonna raise our toes up, okay? And that again is gonna put more pressure on our quads. So we're almost ready to go. Let's take a deep breath and then start. Ready? Okay. Back into position. Down and hold. One, two, three, four, five. So push down, six, push down hard. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 25 seconds, toes up, one, two, three, four, and five. Whew. So I kinda give you the last five seconds to get the toes up, but next set we'll do the 10 seconds, okay? So let's breathe. Good job, guys. I know this one is, looks easy, but it's a very tough exercise, but you're doing great. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's get into position. Down, and time starts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, toes up, 16, 17. Let's go, push, 18, 19, 20, 10, nine, eight, six, five, and we're done. Good job. Kind of tricked you a little bit there. So that was really good. Three sets are done. We're gonna do, take a little break and then do the last exercise, okay? And then we got our stretches at the end as usual. We'll do one new stretch today, okay? So let's breathe again. You guys are doing great. Keeping up with me, you're doing amazing. We're almost done.
Beautiful guys. So the next exercise um, has to do with your calves again. So it's the same exercise that we did in the first week, standing calf raises. But today we're gonna do a lot of reps. We're gonna do 24 reps, we're gonna do three sets, but we're gonna break those reps up into eight reps at a time. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the, the position of our foot. As we change the position of our foot, it's gonna target a different area of our muscles in the calves. So we're gonna start off with keeping their feet like this, okay, pointed out. We're gonna do eight reps here. Then we're gonna put our feet straight in the middle and do eight reps here. And then at the end, we're gonna put our feet inwards like this, like you know most females sit when they sit down on the couch, they sit like this with their feet inside. We're gonna do eight like that. So ready to go? So again, keep your feet wide like this, point your toes out, pause halfway, go all the way up. One, two, very nice, pause, then push all the way up. Three, squeeze and come back. Four, five, we're gonna do three sets of 24 and then take a 30 second break. Six, good, seven, push all the way up, eight, very nice. Now we put the feet straight, okay, and one, pause all the way up, two, squeeze, beautiful, pause, up, three, squeeze, pause, up, four, squeeze, pause, all the way up, five, Pause, all the way up, six. Feeling, getting some patake in my joints, up, seven. Pause, up, eight, beautiful. Last eight, now we put our toes all the way inside. Okay, it's gonna feel a little awkward, but once you get going, it'll be fine. One, pause, up, two. Pause, up, three. Pause, up, four. And five, six, seven, one more. Beautiful, eight. So that's your first set. Take a 30 second break. We'll do it again. You'll start to feel a good burn in your calves. So this time I, uh, well, there's no point in showing you from the side. Then you'll get the most out of it when you show you from the front. But the idea is we're doing this. Pausing and then going all the way up. Like I've showed you before, pausing halfway then going all the way up. But we start like this, then like this, and finish inside. Okay, I think we're ready to go. And let's go, guys. So one, good. Pause and up, two. Pause and up, three. Pause up, four, beautiful. Pause up, five, keeping your feet wide. Pause up, six, good. Seven, beautiful. Eight, wonderful. Let's keep it straight. Pause up, one. Pause up, two. Pause up, three. Four. Five, very nice. Six. Seven, you wanna push all the way up. Eight, squeeze for a second and then come back down. Let's put the feet inside now, okay? And one. This one you might lose a little bit of balance because you're not used to it. So try to hold on to something. Maybe hold on to the wall, maybe face the wall and do it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Beautiful, eight. Okay, let's take a 30 second break. And then we're gonna do the last set. Then we'll move on to your stretches. And then we're all done for the day. You're doing amazing. Okay. <sighs> Breathe. <sighs> all right, almost ready to go again. Keep the feet wide. Ready? And let's go. One. Two. Beautiful, pause halfway, then go all the way up. Three, start really feeling a burn now. Four, your calves should be coming up five and contracting really well. Six, seven, beautiful guys. Eight, now let's go straight. And one, two, three, wonderful. 
four, five, six, good job, seven, and beautiful, eight. Let's go all the way in now, and we're up. One, two, three, four, squeeze, beautiful, five, six, seven, and eight. Well done, guys. So that's it for the workout for today, for day 11. Now we're just gonna do a quick stretch, take a little breather, breathe a little bit. So today's stretch is gonna be all about your chest, okay? So we've been doing a lot of chest work, a lot of push-ups, close grip push-ups. So I thought, you know, let's do a stretch for your chest today. So a great stretch that I like to do for your chest, which is a static stretch at the end of a workout, is you just find a wall or like a pole and you hold your hand against the pole and then you wanna turn your body away from the pole. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you from this side. So I'm gonna put my hand here on the wall here, right? So my, my body is completely straight now, right now across the wall. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to turn away and turn my chest towards you here. So right away what I'm doing is I'm getting a big stretch not only in my bicep, my forearms, I'm also getting a nice stretch in my chest. And then I'm just gonna breathe and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what I do is I do 10 seconds straight ahead. And then what I'll do is I'll raise my hand even more at the top and then I'll pull away more this way. Then that'll do a little bit of my lower chest. Lower to top here, breathe. Again, I'm turning away, getting a nice stretch. Nine and 10, and now I'm gonna put my hand at the bottom and then turn away this way. And this is gonna do with my shoulder and the top of my chest as well. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So see how I kind of stretched out my whole chest by changing the angle of where the stretch is gonna be? So then I do the same thing on the other side. Ideally, this is better done against the door or like a pole so that you have something to hold on to and grip your hand on. But because I'm just showing you for the purposes here of the exercise, I'm just gonna use a wall. So again, straight arm here, and then we're gonna turn away and pull. And you really get a nice stretch even down to your hands actually, in your chest. And then breathe in your stomach here. And every time you breathe out, you should be able to open it up a little bit more, right? So that's that stretch here. Then we go to the bottom. No, let's go to the top. I always go to the top. And then for the top one, you kind of want to push down and then pull across. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then we'll go from the bottom and then we'll pull across. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great for the shoulder stretch as well from the top, right? That's how you do the chest stretch, guys. I thought you were, so that's how you guys do the chest stretch. I hope you had a great time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys tomorrow for day 12. See you guys next time.